A very large asteroid a mile wide and more than twice as long will pass Earth on April 29th from a distance of 4 million miles, or about 16 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. The primary reason that this particular asteroid is being closely monitored, and the reason it has garnered so much attention, isn't as much to do with its relatively close flyby, rather it has more to do with its size, and the fact that it is the largest near-Earth object to pass our planet in the year 2020. Observatories around the world have been pointing their telescopes towards the approaching space rock, and amateur astronomers have been using their smaller telescopes to observe the resemblance of a slow-moving star. The asteroid is named 1998 OR2, and it's traveling at 19,461 miles per hour. It will make its closest approach at 5.56 a.m. Eastern Time on April the 29th. The animation from the Virtual Telescope Project, located in Rome, shows the asteroid's motion in front of the stars. The asteroid is located at the center of the image. The asteroid appears to move in front of the stars because of its much closer proximity to the Earth. Astronomers at Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico have been observing the asteroid since early April. In addition to confirming the asteroid's size, the images also reveal the overall shape of the space rock, including its topographic features, which shows hills and ridges. Asteroid 1998 OR2 is classified as potentially hazardous because its passage is within 0.05 astronomical units from Earth, or about 19.5 lunar distances. Therefore, it is a reasonably close object. Although this asteroid will not pass dangerously close to our planet, it should be noted that there are many objects that are similar to OR2. In the past 20 years, the numbers of potentially hazardous asteroids are continuing an upward trend. The orbit of OR2 will take it within 4 million miles of the Earth in the next couple of days, but on its next approach, in the year 2079, it will come within 1 million miles, which is a significant flyby year because it will become the largest near-Earth object to pass within five lunar distances over the next two centuries. If you have a small telescope with a wide-angle eyepiece, here is how you can locate and see the approaching asteroid. Make certain that your telescope is pointing to this portion of the sky outlined here. By noting the star field, watch for the object that is slowly moving over a 10 to 15 minute period. This is the space rock that is listed here as asteroid 52768. This particular asteroid is not visible to the unaided eye, but in just a short nine years from now, the asteroid Apophis, although not as large as this one, will pass very close to our planet, and it will become visible to the unaided eye as it makes its approach. Within the past few days, astronomers announced the discovery of a group of 19 asteroids that are lurking between Jupiter and Neptune, which puts them squarely within the parameter of the outer solar system. These newly identified space rocks, known as centaurs, are said to have been pulled into our solar system by means of gravity, and have been orbiting our sun for four and a half billion years. Scientists claim that back then, the stars were much closer to one another. Therefore, the objects that were likely orbiting another star were sucked into our solar system by means of gravity. The asteroids were captured from another stellar system because the space rocks were orbiting the sun on a plane that was perpendicular to planetary motion back at that time. In essence, the asteroids were interstellar objects 
that were originally located far from the source that gave rise to the planets and to the other asteroids in the solar system. This is an important discovery for scientists because it helps in understanding the role that interstellar matter plays in the chemical makeup of our solar system and the shaping of its evolution. I mentioned that these alien asteroids, as they are called, are part of the group of space objects known as centaurs. The origin of this grouping has been a mystery to astronomers for the past 43 years, dating back to the year 1977, when a member of the group named Charon was identified. It is thought that these asteroids spent some time in the Kuiper Belt before moving inwards towards the larger planets in our solar system. Asteroids similar to those lurking in the outer solar system pose a constant threat to our planet and all life. Much like asteroid OR2, some of these space rocks are monstrous. If you were to take the asteroid Apophis, which is heading our way, and placed it next to the New York skyline, it would cast a shadow over much of the city. It would nearly match the height of the Empire State Building. Likewise, if you were to take asteroid Hermes, which is more than twice the size of Apophis, and placed it against the New York skyline, it would greatly exceed the height of the One World Trade Center. Ceres, which is classified as a dwarf planet, is located in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars. This gigantic rock is large enough to cast a shadow over the entire city of New York. The reason that Ceres is labeled as a dwarf planet is because it has enough gravitational pull to become a sphere. Furthermore, it orbits the sun and does not have to create a path through space debris, as regular planets are known to do. The reason that most asteroids within the asteroid belt are kept at bay is because of the tremendous gravitational pull of the planet Jupiter. If not for the exerted force it provides on asteroids in the belt, the inner planets of our solar system would be continuously bombarded by large asteroids. So Jupiter plays a significant role in protecting our planet. Despite the many warnings of near-Earth objects, NASA has stated that the Earth has a 1 in 300,000 chance in any given year of a space rock causing regional damage to our planet. The chances may seem slim, but not impossible. It's not the smaller rocks that pose the greatest danger. It is the ones that fall into the category of hazardous. Right now, there are over 2,200 that have been identified, and every year the number has been increasing. When we determine the dangers posed by large asteroids, there is this to keep in mind. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs is estimated to be around 10 miles in size, which makes it nearly five times the size of the asteroid that will pass Earth on April 29th. Impacts from asteroids this size happen every 7 million years or so, and the one which ended the reign of the dinosaurs was 65 million years ago. Regardless of the chances of a major impact in our lifetime, it is a foregone conclusion that an asteroid strike will take place upon the Earth once again. It is only a matter of when. As I contemplate the cosmos and all its infinite beauty, I am reminded of the words of the late astrophysicist Stephen Hawking. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes a universe exist. Be curious. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. Thanks for watching.